What the city of Edinburgh means to me, well, I was born here. I'm now 40 years old and I would never live anywhere else in the world. To wear a kilt, as Vivian Westwood said, people who wear unusual clothing have a more interesting life. I think the kilt about the Scottish culture is all about its freedom and that it's different and people feel connected with it. Like it is part of me and that's all I own. I don't own jeans and I don't own a suit. So it's kind of like, it really is second nature. We can take that passion for the kilt and the garment and that freedom it gives to the rest of the world. As Scotland has given television, whiskey, the telephone, we should give it the kilt. You've always got to dig under the surface, yes. There's always more, there's layers to every story. The city of Edinburgh for me is something for everybody. There is no part of our history that has not touched the city. I can't do my Mary Queen of Scots, King James VI, the joining of the crowns between Scotland and England, all the big players have all been here. I guess the day is gone. I obviously love Edinburgh's historical buildings, the history of it, but living here, I find a very vibrant, fun, ever-changing place to live. Well, it's an iconic building um, that's right in the centre of the city. Um, it can be seen from so many different places in the city, so it's, uh, it's like a focal point almost, uh, and it's known as the Grand Old Dame, so it's very affectionately uh, known by the local people. Uh, we're very proud to represent Edinburgh uh, to all the people that come and stay here. So all of the design of the hotel has been, uh, the inspiration has been drawn from, uh, from Edinburgh and, 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 and Scotland basically. No, everything has a backstory, everything has layers. You can read, you can, you can look up books, you can look up the internet, but you don't get the little personal stories and you don't get to look round. We would say nooks and crannies, and I feel that's my job, bringing stories to life. It's just a unique city. It's just one of the most culturally diverse places in Europe to, to visit. Uh, at the same time, it's retained a lot of its you know, history and, and, uh, and ancestry and culture. I'm a bit biased, but I think it's the greatest small city in the world, as Scotland's the greatest small country in the world.